there's a really cool experimental blender build created by an artist named Clement Foucault that enables physically based rendering inside of Blender's material viewport. Now I want to stress that this is experimental and I'll give you a link to download it in the description below, but it might be fun for you to play around with, test it out, and maybe help the developer if you can. So in Blender this is what our normal material mode looks like. It's a decent approximation of our diffuse colors and such, and even adds a little bit of uh, glossy for the specular. However, that's pretty much the extent of it, and it's not going to look very good if we wanted to do an OpenGL render. However, if we have this build, we can click Realistic Material Preview under the shading options, and that's going to enable really awesome things like reflection, refraction, shadows, and all that cool stuff. So the first option that you have right below this is the quality, and you might see in some of these shiny objects, there's a lot of noise. So if we increase the quality to say something like 5, that noise is going to go down and our reflections are going to start to look a lot more sharp and clean. Now increasing this value is going to slow down our viewport a little bit, so I recommend leaving it at 1, and then if you're going to do an OpenGL render, crank it up to 5 or 10 for a final pass. Now it's good to note that I have world background turned on in the display, and you can also use diffused world background if you don't want it to be so distracting. So let's take a look at some of the options that we have for this PBR viewport. The first of them is in the world menu, and it's under the viewport probe options. We can enable it to auto refresh or compute the diffuse, but mainly we want to look at the reflection quality and diffuse quality. So as you might guess, if we increase this reflection quality, say something like 1080, we're going to get much more crisp and clear reflections. Now this cube is a little bit bumpy just because I have a, a normal map on it. So if I turn that off, we're going to have a nice crisp reflection plane here. But you'll notice that it's not reflecting any of the other objects. It's just reflecting the environment. But we can actually enable this in the object properties. Under Viewport Probe, with this plane selected, I'm going to choose Planar because it's a plane. Pretty simple. So once I turn that on, we're going to have all of our other objects reflected in the scene. But you'll see that we have some issues going on, especially with other objects that we can't even see that are visible in the reflections, and that's because they're on other layers. So if I just click Use Object Layers, those objects will go away. Now it's pretty low quality at the moment, but if we increase this just like we did the other reflection quality, to say 1080, then we're going to get nice crisp reflections. Now let's do the same for our shiny sphere over here, but in, this time I'm going to choose Cube Map because it's a solid object. And I'll also increase the quality of reflections, but this time I'll just go to 512. You may also notice that there's a black area right here where one reflection is bouncing off the other, and since it doesn't really do more than one bounce, uh, it just sort of ends. So we can get rid of this by choosing one of these objects. I'll choose the ground, and under the default cube probe, I'll choose a cube, that's this object here, that's sort of surrounding the entire scene. You can think of it as a domain for reflections, in a way. So it doesn't have any special material applied, the only thing is that it does not have an applied scale. So just make sure that the scale is not applied, and for the plane I'll, I will enable that under default cube probe, and there we go, it'll use that reflection once it hits its limit. So it doesn't line up perfectly, but it definitely looks much much better. And I'm sure if I finagled this around, uh, it would match up pretty well eventually. Alright, lastly we have an option for object probes, which is just going to use a, another object's location instead of that one, that already has a cube map. So for instance, for this sphere, I could choose the other sphere to be the reflection probe, and it's going to get it based on the location of that other object, and it's going to cast it in that direction. But it doesn't look that good, so unless it's a either a really rough, glossy, or in the same general location, I would just go with a normal cube map. So that's pretty much the gist of it that I wanted to show you. There's definitely a lot of potential here, and I want to say a huge thanks to the developer, and encourage anybody else who has the ability to help them out should definitely do so because this would be a huge benefit for Blender so that we could have super fast render times for less realistic scenes. I can see tons of benefits for that. 
So thanks for watching this quick video. That's all I've got for you today. For anyone curious, the reason I'm not really doing any videos is I've been working at CG Cookie, and that's now pretty much my entire focus for, for my work day. And so I'm not really going to be doing regular videos like I was before. However, these quick things that I just find cool that I want to share, I'll definitely still be sharing with you. And I have a few other personal projects that I'm working on that I will publish on this channel as well. So I just wanted to let you guys know, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.